Hello, today we are going to be talking about some of 3F effects on macrophage differentiation and wound assay. I'm Caleb Imfor. And I'm Natalie Prina. And together we are working with Professor Tanja Green and Dr. Colleen Dochi at the Marion University College of Arts and Sciences. So as our abstract, as our abstract, we know that SEMA 3F is a class 3 semaphorin and it's associated with axonal guidance and developmental cell patterning. So we have uh, preliminary research that suggests that SEMA 3F actually blocks macrophage differentiation to wounds and this blocking of macrophage migrations will slow the healing rate of injuries because macrophages are vital in the healing process. So SEMA 3F is heavily modified and proteolytically processed and there are no immunoprecipitating antibodies available. Therefore, we have undertaken a tandem affinity purification strategy to collect highly purified natively processed SEMA 3F. So we will then be using a fibrin assay to test the ability of SEMA 3F to inhibit the invasion of macrophages through the fibrin gel towards a chemoattractant. So we'll have three trial groups, one with untreated fibrin, one with a group with normal amounts of SEMA 3F or wild type amounts of SEMA 3F, and then another group with excess amounts of SEMA 3F. We expect to find that the untreated group will have more macrophage invasion into the fibrin assay. The group with normal SEMA 3F treatment will have significantly less invasion, and then that with extra SEMA 3F will just blo almost block macrophage migration completely. So this is preliminary, but with this confirmation, this could lead to the advances in technology that could temporarily disable SEMA 3F in a, in a concentrated site around a wound, leading to faster wound healing after accidents and surgeries. SEMA 3F functions as a chemorepulsant, preventing macrophage migration to wound sites. Macrophages are critical in the wound healing process by clearing cell debris and decreasing inflammation. Tested in vivo, this effect that SEMA 3F has on macrophages have been shown in preliminary preliminary research. Below is a figure displaying wild type mice versus knockout mice with that have missing SEMA 3F. As shown below, the knockout mouse healed much quicker than the wild type. Our research will focus on the effect and finding quantitative in vitro data to pair with the in vivo information. This is the first step in discovering a way to utilize blocking SEMA 3F to increase healing rates in humans. There are many implications that have yet to be explored and many next steps that can be accomplished. So as far as goals and hypotheses, uh, we need, as a goal, we need to find further evidence of SEMA 3F's macrophage migration blocking. And then we hypothesize that macrophage, specifically M2 invasion to an in vitro wound microenvironment, will be significantly increased by the absence of SEMA 3F compared to a regular type wound and microenvironment with SEMA 3F present. Yeah, with SEMA 3F present. The experimental design is going to have basically three wells um, that the macrophages are going to be on. Um, three test groups. There's going to be one with no SEMA 3F, one with wild type levels of SEMA 3F, and one with excess SEMA 3F. And using stained macrophages and determining the fluorescence of each sample, we can see how the different levels of SEMA 3F affect the macrophage migration into the media. So future directions and implications, uh, SEMA 3F protein purified and then, yeah, so right now we have the SEMA 3F protein purified and then the fibrin assay is completed and constructed by mid-April. So we'll have, we'll, we're working on getting all that done. So if the assay results follow our hypothesis, then Dr. Dochi will incorporate our data into an overarching paper about the effects of SEMA 3F on wound healing. And then we plan to continue to study SEMA 3F and how to make this discovery applicable to helping humans heal faster. So references and acknowledgments, there are references, and then we'd also like to thank Dr. Dochi and Professor Green for being fantastic teachers, scientists, and people. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.